dear friends hope you all are doing well welcome to dental education hub youtube channel today we are going to study the endodontic anatomy of the permanent mandibular central incisor so let's begin this is a mesiodistal outline of the permanent mandibular central incisor the permanent mandibular central incisor the bulk chamber is narrow the pulp chamber it comprises of one to two pulp points and it is very narrow the tooth it has a single root canal with a gradual taper towards the root apex usually the apical foramen it it is at the tip of the root but sometime the apical foramen either open towards the mesial side or towards the distal side so this is the outline of the mes of the labiolingual section of the tooth of the men uh, of the men permanent mandibular central incisor so let's discuss the endodontic anatomy from this aspect. So uh, the, uh, the dimension of the pulp chamber, it is quite large labiolingually from this aspect as compared to the mesiodistal uh, dimensions. The tooth, uh, it has one canal as I have already described, but the dimension of the canal is also, it is more labiolingually. Over here, the dimension of the canals, canal, it is also more labiolingually as compared to the mesiodistal dimensions. The pulp canal, it gradually, it tapers in the apical one-third area. And it opens at the at root apex but sometimes there's a buccal opening of the canal as well now uh, in the mandibular incisors and canine there are variations in the endodontic anatomy in the maxillary incisors and canine the variations they are very rare but in the mandibular incisors and canines the variations are a bit common so what are those variations the most common variation which occurs in around 30 percent of the mandibular central incisors is a two canal configuration in those uh, 30 percent of the mandibular central incisors the pulp chamber the outline of the pulp chamber is the same But there are two canals and these two canals they unite again in the apical one third so this is a pulp chamber this is a buccal canal and this is the first canal this is the second canal that is present on the lingual side and again in the apical portion near the apical portion these canals again they unite to form a single canal that exit through the apical uh, and the exit is through the apical foramen sometime very early uh, they have a separate uh, apical foramen but most of the time they have a common apical foramen so this is one of the variation that occur in around 30 percent of the mandibular uh, permanent central incisors and the dentine tissue is in between over here is the dentine tissue that is separating the two canals. Now, uh, how the tooth it appear uh, and in the cross sections at the cervical area and at the apical portion. Outline at the cervical portion of the tooth, it is oval in shape. 
So this is the labial side and this is the lingual side. So the canal at the, at the cervical, the, the shape of the pulp space is oval in shape at the cervical portion and it is centered within the root, within the center of the root it is present. Now, in the apical third of the root, um, the shape is the shape of the root is more rounded. This is the labial side of the root. And this is the lingual side of the root. And the canal or the pulp cavity, it is more rounded in the apical portion. Now, the section is taken at, in, at this portion than how the pulp cavity it will appear so it is that. this is the labial side and this is the lingual side so two canals will appear and those are nearly rounded one two and a thin dentine tissue it will be present uh, uh, between these uh, two canals so a thin dentine dentinal bridge or dentinal tissue will be present between these two canals with advancing age because of the production of the more uh, secondary and tertiary dentine the size of the pulp chamber uh, is reduced and the and the root canal it is reduced so the pulp horns they will be lost and overall the size of the pulp chamber it is reduced in all dimensions Similarly, in the labiolingual section, there is also a reduction in the size of the pulp chamber and the canal. Purple color, it indicates that this is, the pulp uh, this is the pulp chamber and the canal in an older adult. This is the color is just an indication. Similarly, there is also reduction at the cervical portion, the apical one third as well. So uh, this is all about endodontic anatomy of the permanent mandibular central incisor. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Please do give us your feedback in the comments below whether you like these videos or not. Uh, follow our Instagram account at dental edu hub for questions images and flashcards again thank you so much for watching this video and uh, stay blessed